should turn that around. All right, um, so this is the task. Um, I want to have a template struct um, that takes any number of bool arguments and uh, it should have a value and the value should be true if all the arguments are true. So, um, and I'm gonna show several variants of trying to do that, right? So um, if you have an introduction to, um, to variative templates, the first thing you hear is, okay, use recursion, and that's what we're gonna do. So we start with no arguments. If there is no arguments, then it should be true. Uh, otherwise, we do recursion, and if that is too fast for you, uh, forget it. Uh, recursion is something that, you, <laughs> something that you shouldn't do, okay? Um, just for completeness, there's another, uh, cons, uh, there's another uh, recursive version. Const expert functions um, also starts with no arguments, returns true. Uh, if you have at least one argument, uh, then you compare the first argument with the rest um, and uh, put everything in an integral constant, um, then you're done. Okay. So now we're going to come uh, to something interesting. Um, using no except. No except is a nice keyword. Uh, you can use it to declare something to be no except, and you can also use it to query if something is no except. Um, we start with a helper, an X helper, um, that is, um, Declare to be no except, the constructor is declared to be no except if the bool argument is true. Uh, then we use a function, uh, an join, uh, that is always no except um, and takes any number of arguments. And then we say, okay, dear compiler, um, if we take all our arguments and construct no except helpers from those and put everything as arguments to an X join, is the whole thing no, no except, yes or no? And the compiler will say, well, if everything is true, then all the NX helper constructors are no except, and then the whole thing is no except, otherwise it's false, okay? <laughs> right, don't do that, you will scare other people. Okay, um, now for something real. Uh, you can use uh, std is same. For this, we again uh, declare a, a helper, uh, the helper takes any number of rules and the implementation doesn't matter, you don't even need it. Uh, and then you take your list of arguments and you first prepend a true, put it in as arguments to all helper, and then you append true uh, to all your arguments. And if those two uh, specializations of all helper are the same, that means that all the arguments are true. It needs a few seconds to sync in, but yes, that's right. <laughs> Okay, there are variants of this. Um, well, in C++17, um, everything gets nicer and easier because we will have fold expressions. With fold expressions, you can just express exactly what we want. We want to combine all our arguments with end, and if the result is true, then um, that's the result that we wanna have. Okay, so that's very expressive. Now, I've shown five variants of uh, variadic and. Um, what's the point? Damn it! I mean, you have all these versions on that stupid, and there are even more. And um, um, the point is, well, readability and performance, right? Um, the readability is something that you have to make up on your own mind. Um, performance is something that you should measure. You should not make assumptions, but if you measure it, uh, and I measured it this way, <laughs> within within the limits of my. Um, of my measurement techniques, um, basically for no for, for one argument, uh, they all are instant. Um, all, if you go to higher numbers, um, then you will see that, oh, recursion, that is actually pretty slow compared to everything else. If you go to uh, really high numbers, then you will see the XXX marks crashes in the compiler. <laughs> um, so the first, uh, approach already crashes the compiler. Um, then you go to, um, and you see recursion is really slow. Um, then uh, even higher, more crashes, yet higher, okay, and I didn't go beyond that. Um, so no except also crashes, um, and you see that by now um, the, um, the fold expressions are about a factor of 2,000 slower than the same. Um, that is a surprise. Um, and I didn't, I didn't realize that, or I didn't expect that, but um, it's a new feature, so maybe compiler vendors will, uh, will catch up with that. Um, <laughs> now, the morale is, uh, first, with variative templates, avoid recursion is evil. The other thing is uh, strive for readability and performance. 
If you have to choose, um, I'm always going with readability because I have to maintain the code, um, but that's my choice. Thank you very much.